What's up, ladies and gents? Just listening to that music brings me back to 1993, when the original Jurassic Park clawed our way into our lives. So, I was 10 years old at the time, was so, you know, still learning the aspects of what, you know, what was in the past, dinosaurs, all that great stuff. Such a truly amazing movie, and still today one of the best movies, in my opinion, ever made. So what we have here is Jurassic World Evolution. This is made by Frontier. Frontier also developed uh, a game that I truly, truly love, which is called Elite Dangerous. So I have a good feeling about this one. We're going to take a look at it today. Um, of course, thank you uh, for, uh, for letting me be able to play this to you guys a little early. Uh, thanks to the devs. So excited to be able to take a look at it. And we're going to go ahead and get started into a new game. I have no idea. I really haven't looked too much Hello. information on what yes, this is about, welcome. but okay, um, I'll Malcolm. let you talk. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. I'm Cabot Finch, Public Relations and Crisis Management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond Creation Lab. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Let's focus on what you're here to do which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Now comes the real test, incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. All right, incubate a, at the Hammond Creation Lab. Select a building to interact with it. Ooh, let's go with a Triceratops. Or actually, maybe it'll only let me go one. Ah, oh, we don't have enough. Okay. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the, the last time. There's always a last time, and a next. Life, it begins. The most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done. I guess. 
That is beautiful. I love that. Look at that. I just want to watch it go around. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. All right, choose a contract. Science, entertainment, and security. Tip, after this contract, you're gonna take more work for any division. Request additional contracts from the contract room. I think security is gonna be the best. This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Well done. And you'll notice absolutely no hint of sarcasm. Unless you listen real closely. <laughs> so what I meant to say is that completing that contract has raised your standing. Your reputation, if you will, with the security division. This means they'll be willing to give you more difficult missions. I'm Claire Deering. And I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing and I believe in these dinosaurs. Responsible management of our animals is key, as is creating a safe environment for our visitors. Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then let me know if you're interested. Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. I'm gonna need you to extract enough DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. All right, so let's begin. Wow, this is a lot more thorough than I thought it was gonna be, wow. 
Good. Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs, which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. So two minutes before we can actually get this information back. Oh, it's raining. Look at that. Now, I'll, I'll admit, I have not been one that is normally into micromanaging in games. It's just not something that I've always enjoyed. You know, with someone with ADHD like myself, it's hard to get into this stuff. But I can see the, the value and the merit that people have in creating this stuff. We're at 44% again, and that's why we're waiting to pick this guy up. But we cannot do it just yet. What else? Let's take a look at... Uh, okay, we got the control room. Contracts. What's this? The database. Research Center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. Man, there is so much to this. It is wow. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. The Fossil Center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting! Oh, okay, so it's actually raising it. So this is another way to raise. We need it to be 6% if we want to get to 50%. Which I don't think it's going to make it to, to that, but... Got up to 48%, though. And that should get us the rest of the way, so then we should be able to go ahead and continue on with the mission after this. We'll see, that's not a 1% yet. There we go. Alright, we should be good. Oh, come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, looks like we did. All right, new viable genome. Okay, next you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island. Construct an ACU center.
<laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, man. Wow, what the... Games today, I swear, man, they're getting amazing looking. All right, so last but not least, the ACU center, which should be just about complete. Requires path, okay. Access obstructed. Hmm. Oh, so the path is here. That sucks. All right, so we got to go. Okay. Research item from research center. Okay, hold on. Research item from Research Center. ACU reload speed 1.0. That's why. No? Okay, but we can't... I guess we gotta get it first. Have to research it. I can figure out how to do that. All right, it must be through here. No. Research item from Research Center. ACU reload speed 1.0. I mean, this is the... Re the ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dewa. I run the science division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. Alright, so I need to, where's the, there's the, there's this one. Fossil center. And the security. All right, so we got to find the wherever the research center is. So there's the AC. There it is. Okay. Now, I was getting a little confused, but now I got it. All right. Initiative learning, aggressive instincts, immune... Intensive repair. Okay. 
parasites. Clothing shop. There we go. Reload speed 1.0. Yeah, money's getting lower and lower. is gonna sound a little crazy because frankly it is but we are gonna encourage one of the dinosaurs to breach our containment grid we'll then react and see if our procedures and personnel are up to the challenge yes so at this point I'd like to take back everything I just said about this guy Asset containment unit should be your first port of call to bring down a rampaging dinosaur. There he goes. Okay, we have our runner. Time to tag him and bag him. We're using less than lethal, but remember, that dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed to be a drill. So watch your back. While I understand the need to keep our security as sharp as possible, this is not the way I would go about doing it. If you have a problem with how we keep you safe, Doctor, I'm happy to discuss it at a later time. Right now, we have our hands full. to call in the offshore transport team to safely move this dinosaur back to its enclosure. Transport dinosaurs secure. Use ACU shortly to quickly transport teams. En route to collect the asset. Where's the other dinosaur? I don't see him down there. Hopefully he didn't get out. Oh, we're losing $7,000 per minute. Jeez. Yeah, not good.
got the job finished, true and square. Look, the thing is, we're still learning where our boundaries are when it comes to keeping these animals under control. God knows they're working out ways to exploit our weaknesses. Guess we'll find out who gets to the limits of our abilities first, us or them. Ever vigilant. And that's always been the challenge of the Jurassic Industrial Complex. Exploitation versus security. The immense potential for profit and for violence. All right, well, you saw a little bit of... I gotta say, it's pretty freaking cool. If you are a huge Jurassic Park, Jurassic World series fan, dinosaurs, this seems like the perfect game for you. I can definitely see why a lot of people are into these types of games and why they are fun to play because this was actually fun to do. Um, it's fun to mess around, to, to feel like you're, you're, you're a part of the movie series and what it was like to, to have dinosaurs back then. It's actually pretty fun. And I'm sure that once you get into creating things like, you know, Tyrannosaurus Rex and all that stuff, oh my god, how fun would that be? And so there's five different islands here, so I guess you're going to be able to create and do a lot more stuff. And first of all, the game is beautiful. Really, really impressed. Me? I would literally just sit here and watch and watch this right here. I would just have this like in the background and I would just, you know, go throughout my day and just, you know, check on my dinosaur every now and then, see how he's doing. <laughs> and that's pretty fun. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I just showed you a tiny glimpse. I wish I could play more, but I'm headed off to E3. So check it out. If you like what you see, let me know in the comments below. Um, and of course, I would love to know your opinions on it. Do you like games like these? Are you big into these types of building games? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, I will see you on the next video. Peace out.